Anthony Carboni for D News. And a couple days ago, we talked about the National Intelligence Council's prediction for life in the year 2030. And then on the same day, Ray Kurzweil, one of the leading figures in transhumanism and futurism, became director of engineering at Google. And that got us and a lot of you guys thinking about a future filled with bionic limbs and just when we'll actually see it. How about today? Here's Jen Schumann leaning back as a robot feeds her chocolate, which is pretty cool on its own because you know, chocolate robot. But the real reason that we're watching this is that Jen is paralyzed from the neck down and she's controlling that robot arm with her thoughts via two tiny electrodes in her brain. The experiment was run by a team at the University of Pittsburgh and it's similar to a couple they've run in the past. You might've seen their video of a monkey feeding itself a banana with a similar looking arm from a couple years back. So obviously this is an insanely complicated technology, right? The team has to constantly improve on the size and complexity of the implants, the articulation of the robotic arm, and then there's the implant's ability to read someone's intentions and the training of that person to send clear intentions to the implant. Future wizards, man. Over seven months, the researchers worked with Jen using computer training software to figure out what her brain was doing when she was thinking about moving her hand so the implant would get better. And then they also taught her to think more clearly in a way that would control the arm. She was using the implant to feed herself two days after it was installed. And over time, she just became more and more precise and delicate at doing it. Freaking amazing, man. Now this is in a lab, obviously, under controlled conditions. This thing certainly isn't anywhere near ready to be taken out for a spin, but I mean, look at this thing, right? So in a few years, we might be able to attach that arm to her chair, and then to her body, and then forget the robot limb entirely because we'll be able to use that implant to get her brain talking to her own arm again. Now this is obviously an idea that we all love, but some people are also kind of scared of the transhuman and posthuman thing. They're worried about what'll happen when we start voluntarily implanting ourselves with technology. Now there are definitely a lot of ethical questions here. What do we do when bionic limbs and senses are better than natural ones? What would you do if you could choose to have a super strong arm in place of the one you're born with? And how would that change finding a job or playing professional sports or even our daily lives. If you could elect to give up a part of yourself in exchange for one that makes you better at doing the things you love, I think I'd do it. Let me know what you think and subscribe because we will be back tomorrow with more D News.